Number 10. Makoto Ito from School Days. Now, School Days is the worst anime ever, period. And the reason behind that is this dickhead. He slept around with multiple girls while having a girlfriend, and by the end of the series, destroyed multiple lives. For example, he made a girl pregnant only to leave her in the end, and drove a shy, happy go lucky girl to the brink of madness. Hell, by the end of the series, he ended up fucking this girl, this girl, this girl, this girl right here, this girl, and probably even this dude off screen. The only reason he's not any high on this list is because of the ending. Number 9 Misa Amane from Death Note. Now, Misa is one crazy annoying bitch. She's utterly useless and was just in the story for the sake of creating plot convenience and nothing else. She really had potential to become a good character, but in the end, she just remained a stepping stone for Light to achieve his ultimate dream. Number 8 LOS Tronce from Black Butler 2. What can I say about him? Mm. Oh, yeah, he's fucking useless. He's not a good character, he's not a good antagonist. The only good thing he has going for him is his backstory. But even then, that's due to his brother. He had no contribution in it whatsoever. Number 7 Shinji Ikari from Nui and Genesis Evangelion. Here we have Shinji Ikari, aka the worst possible savior of the world ever. If our world was in danger and he was our supposed savior, then the first thing I will do is start looking for the most painless ways to die. Because I can't entrust my fate in the hands of this bastard. If you really think about it, there was absolutely nothing in which he excels at. Except obviously, bitching and crying about his life. And most of the time, even that is forced. Number 6. Hercule Satan from Dragon Ball Z. Or just Dragon Ball. Oh, my personal favourite. <laughs> Hercule is just on another level of annoyance. I mean, there's nothing to like about this guy. He's a spineless coward who steal credit from people who really deserve it. Before he showed the clip where he supposedly defeated Cell, I only found him mildly annoying. However, after that, I despised him and just wanted to see him die. Number 5. Megumi Shimizu from Shiki. If Misa is a crazy annoying bitch, then Megumi is a selfish, self-centered, ungrateful annoying bitch. I absolutely hate her. We spent the entire first episode following Megumi and for first 14 minutes I was pissed because she does absolutely nothing except bitch about her life in the village. And I have nothing against people who have big dreams and live in small towns. I idolize these kind of people actually. But Megumi is nothing like that. She blames her family and villages for her own incompetence and that just annoys the living fuck out of me. Number 4 Nina Einstein from Code Geass. It's Nina from Code Geass. However, you might know her as Princess Tolkien, table humping, crazy mad scientist bitch who invented Flair to take revenge for just one person's death and in return killed hundreds upon hundreds of people. Albert Einstein would be crying in his grave for having the same surname as this, whatever it is, because I'm pretty sure it's not human. Number 3. Sakura Haruno from Naruto. Sakura is unarguably one of the most useless characters in the entirety of Naruto, and she sucks both in combat and as a character. And the only time I thought Sakura was kind of cool when she fought against Sasori, but even then it was mostly due to Chiyoba's help. To put it simply, she's Yamcha of Naruto. Number 2. Louise Francais. Yeah, number 2. Louise from Familiar of Zero. Now, there are a lot of things I hear about her. She is obnoxious, spoiled, irresponsible, misbehaving, stupid little brat who just needs to shut the fuck up. I have only watched first season of the show and have no plans to even consider watching other seasons. And the sole reason is this dumb bitch. Now, before we move on to number one, some character mentions that didn't quite make the list. Suzaku Kururugi from Code Geass. Now I had to choose between Suzaku or Nina, and Nina is miles annoying than any other character in Code Geass, so that's why Suzaku didn't make the list. Yuki Kuran from Vampire Knight. Well, I haven't seen the show, so I really can't say anything. Number 1. Maria Ushiromiya from Umineko When They Cry. 
Now I'm going to be simple here. I hate her. She annoyed the hell out of me when I was watching the show. Now some of you might be wondering how can I hate a 9 year old little girl. What's there to dislike eh? Well, every fucking thing. Her character, her design, her voice. God, that fucking voice! Now, every time the story would reset, I sincerely hoped for the most painful and brutal death for this piece of shit. Sadly, it never came true. Uh, thank you for watching the list, guys. And uh, this was my first commentary, and uh, while I was doing it, I was actually very scared. I hope it turned out okay, and if it didn't, then please let me know in the comment section down below. Also, I'd like to hear your opinion that do you want me to do this kind of list more often, or should I just stick with uh, my other lists? And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.